I think we have our next guest, Tim Heidegger, who is going to um, address, uh, well, I, I'm anticipating, frankly, uh, an apology. Um, and so uh, we've had him on the past. I went on his show. I don't want to go through the whole history uh, of this, uh, but uh, I was on his show. He made some comments about how, uh, how much he thought I should be more like Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo, two people now off the air because of both ethical issues and sort of really some inappropriate statements mm. uh, that uh, that I thought. But um, we, I wanted to give uh, the, this guy a an opportunity to uh, both apologize and to explain himself. Uh, he is the host of um, Office Hours Live. I get confused because I feel like there's been a bunch of shows called that. Uh, or movies or something, office hours. Uh, Tim Heidegger, are you there? Hello. Hello. Are you? Uh, are you? Are you there? I understand you don't have a computer or something, so you had to call in. Hmm. No, I'm out. I'm out uh, living life and doing stuff and taking meetings and on my way to actually a pretty big lunch. But I wanted to call in because you called me out the other day, uh, mispronounced my name. I uh, which. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That happens. Well, it's Tim Heidecker, CK, not GG. You're connecting me to um, a German philosopher from the 19th century, and I don't appreciate it. Well, I, so, I, let me apologize I, for that. That is a massive category error, without a doubt. And maliciously. Heidegger was obviously a, um, a, a brilliant man, and I'm, I'm sorry for confusing you with him. Now, as to what you uh, the re as to what you were talking about, to me, it's true. I'm a big fan of Don Lemon, um, and you. I, I, we did sort of talk about uh, how I thought um, that you could do a better job of uh, hosting a news show, a daily news show, and you should look to somebody like Lemon as as a, a marker for what what uh, what you could aspire to become. So, yes, I'm disappointed that CNN let go of Don Lemon. I think he was a really big part of why I watch CNN. And same for Chris Colombo. Well, that, you know, that's a little bit old news, but. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think you'll find it's Chris Cuomo. And you, um, you, mm -hmm. you, you, you said that I should aspire to be both of them. Chris Cuomo was let go because of ethical violations. Well, I don't know what that. I don't know the details of that. All I know is I can watch Chris. Clo uh, what is it, Cuomo? Cuomo. I watch Chris him. Cuomo. Yeah. I can, so I can watch him every night of the week now on Newsnight. I don't know if you're following him on Newsnight. It's a great, great network news network. It's it's similar to CNN. It's it's the same Cuomo that I that I loved on CNN. I can watch him. He was sparring with uh, um, what's his name, Piers Morgan, the other night. It was terrific. So I, whatever, if I'm watching it on CNN or Newsnight or if I'm watching Fox or MSNBC, I want to get the guys I like and find out where they're going to go. I think Don Lemon's not going anywhere. I think we're going to find him, you know, maybe uh, over at Fox or MSNBC or now this or maybe he'll start the Lemon Network. I don't know. Uh, but, 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 but I mean, next. don't you feel I he's a great? I think he's a great journalist. And I think if you don't see that, that there's something wrong with you, not me. All right. Well, I mean, you don't feel that like uh, when Don Lemon says, um, you know, uh, Nikki Haley is past her prime as a woman because she's in her, what, her 40s or her 50s? Uh, or uh, the, ex Don let Don. me just finish, uh, uh, Mr. Heidecker. Listen, Don's got. Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, Chris Cuomo, who was basically, you know, advising his politician brother on how to avoid all the scandals he had and not uh, disclosing that to the audience. I mean, don't you think that uh, uh, that maybe you owe me a bit of apology to say that I, I am so bad at my job that I should aspire to both a guy who says uh, inappropriate sort of misogynist things on air or one who has uh, deep ethical, vi you know, problems. Uh, okay. You done with the filibuster? Listen, here's what you need to understand. Don 
and Chris and, you know, even somebody like Richard Quest, who I love. And I hope Richard Quest gets that morning spot now that Dom's left. I hope Richard Quest gets the opportunity to rise. I don't know who Richard Quest is. I really don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's not the point. Richard, you don't know who Richard Quest is. He's, uh, he often covers royalty on CNN. Uh, for a while, he was covering, I think, space. He, he covers the British, the, the royal family in England. Yeah, I don't, don't know follow that. <laughs> Just, wait a minute, Sam. You're in journalism. You're in news. You don't know Richard Quest. I, I just don't have any interest in the monarchs of a different country. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you know Gary Tuckman? I don't know Gary Tuckman. <laughs> okay. So you, all right. Okay, this is nuts. These are two stars at CNN. And I don't know that, you know, you know if you don't know them... Then how are you going to talk about Don Lemon? How are you going to talk about Chris Cuomo? Well, because Cuomo? I know Don and Lemon and I know Chris Cuomo. I don't need to know uh, other B-list or C-list people at CNN. I don't need to know the people on Entertainment Tonight, where apparently you get most of your news, um, to make a comment on, obviously, a story about uh, someone who was a journalist without any ethics and a journalist who was was saying uh, misogynist things. I mean... This is the, these are the waters you swim in, right. uh, Tim, and it's it really you should be embarrassed. You really should be. Well, no, you should be embarrassed because you don't know who Richard Quest or uh, Gary Tuckman. I, but that's I think you should be embarrassed here's for knowing who those under, people are. <laughs> here's what you need to understand about Dom Lemon, and here's what you need to understand about Chris Cuomo. These are two guys that have something that you don't. It's called swag. It's <laughs> called attitude. It's called. It's called understanding how to work the moment in an interview. And of course, they're going to say stuff that's going to rile you people up. Of course, they're going to shake, uh, shake things up where you become sort of disconnected from uh, what you what you get. You know, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's fresh. And that's going to rattle you people. I get that. But there's no there's not been a better broadcaster of news and information the past 25 years than Dom Lemon, and you're not seeing the last of him. He's going to rise to the top, and you're going to see him. I don't know what's going to do next, but I can't wait. So you're, can't wait. you're sitting with bated breath for what uh, Dom Lemon, as you call him, <laughs> is, is, is going to do next. What, what do you, well, what, what, what's your wait. biggest and, uh, hope? I, that, I can't listen. Let me just say something. This isn't a partisan thing. I love it all. I love, I, I, I mean, I love Tucker. Uh, Carlson, I thought he did a great job broadcasting. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Rachel Maddow and and uh, the All In with Chris Hayes. Great show. I love the Fox and Friends in the morning. Uh, I love um, the Morning Joe. I mean, I love all these things for different reasons. How do you watch all just, of these programs that are actually on at the same time? Do you record them? Uh, you record them and watch I, them later? I, I do record, yes, I have my DVR, my TiVo set for, I love, I watch Fox and Friends live and I record Morning Joe. Um, and then I was watching, well, I was watching um, the CNN this morning until Don Lemon got fired. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm watching Fox and Friends. And at night I do Hannity and then I tape uh, Maddow and I tape Jake Tapper. And I watch that stuff in the morning uh, before uh, Morning Joe. Tim, that's that a lot sense? of news. That's a yeah. lot of news. That's a yeah. lot of news. And hi, Tim. It's uh, M over here. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Um, um, doing all right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get a lot out of it. I get a lot of information, of course. I get a lot of different perspectives on uh, what's going on in the world. And I get different sides of the, of the same story which I think is helpful. It makes me a more a broader, more open-minded person. I think, you know, I watch, um, I'll watch Laura Ingram and then I'll switch over to MB MSNBC. I'll get some Chris Jansen. I love Lawrence O'Donnell. I love the last word. That's kind of how I end the night mm. with a little, little punctuation at the end. Say, ah, he kind of, he's somehow able to contextualize the whole day's worth of news 
and give and you the last so word. Yeah, no, I it's in the title of the, of the. Yeah, no, he gives you the last word. I, I get that because that's in the title of the show. Yeah, and so something something that uh, Laura Ingram might have said earlier that I caught that sort of took me by surprise or I didn't agree with. Lawrence is there to kind of. Is there any news uh, shows that you don't anyway. watch? I mean, honestly, at this point, it doesn't seem like you're terribly discriminating. Uh, you don't care about uh, ethics. You don't care about uh, the the sources of your news. It doesn't. Uh, it, it seems like your only care is that you get enough, like sort of like uh, I don't know, monarchy watching, uh, mm -hmm. and, and otherwise your your day is unfulfilled. I mean. Uh, and, and, and frankly, I, 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 got a question I've seen, I, I'm not really much of, uh, is it office hours? Is that what it is? Live office hour? Yeah. Live, live uh, office. It's, it's not, I, you're, you're trying too hard to make it sound complicated. It's not at all. It's office hours live. Three okay. Words. All right. I just didn't, I, 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 no, I said live it's, office it's, hour. Maybe, I just, I, be, it was this, three words. I just got them. Uh, Cause the, frankly, it doesn't yeah. make any sense one way or the other. So it's not uh, obvious. It's not, it's Sam. It's Sam. It, here's a way to think about it. It's not a pun on a Steven Spielberg sci-fi movie. That's yeah. one way to think about it. Yeah, well, this first of all, uh, the, you know, um, uh, literate people know that uh, what you're talking about is a Philip K. Dick book. Uh, it wasn't the, a, the Steven Spielberg movie. I don't even know if that had come out at that time when we first doing the, the majority report. It's not a pun on that whatsoever. Uh, Minority Report okay. is a pun on Majority Report. It's not the other way around. Uh. So, uh, oh, okay. but, but like I say, uh, there's no, uh, wait, there's no context in which office hours live means anything more than live office hours. I mean, I've heard both uh, phrases, both phrases, frankly, are meaningless. And I think, uh, that's reflected in some of the, the content that uh, you both consume and then regurgitate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I really I don't really care what you think about anything. That's why I don't generally watch your show. Well, uh, you know, I, I think it's I mutual. I, I just, I, you know, I was understood. Uh, I don't know. I understood I don't, that, like, I don't know where to put that. there was a sense you know that uh, uh, people had that Sam, you would apologize Sam, in the wake sorry, of your two I, favorite uh, uh, newscasters getting fired for both ethical and uh, sort of like inappropriate reasons. But apparently, that's not the case. And I think I'm not. I'm not frankly surprised. All right, Sam, listen, I got Victor Blackwell on the screen right now. I'm watching, um, I got CNN on. He looks like he's about to do an interesting story about what's going on out there with this debt ceiling. So I'm probably going to jump off and tune back in. And later after lunch, I'm going to catch up with Ari Melbar and see what he's been cooking up, what reports he's working on. I think uh, Ari Melbar, I believe, is on Ted at Cruz. night. I, I don't know where, like what like tv system you live in but uh, god bless go with uh go with god i guess as you say yeah and by the way uh, uh, t uh tom foreman is somebody you should check out too and i think that we're gonna have to be in about an hour i got something coming up from dana bash so uh I'm, great i'm gonna be focused on that all right great well i think people got a real sense of what uh what your media appetite is and um it's uh, i imagine it's made some people nauseous but i appreciate you coming on uh under really in many respects false pretenses so uh thank you for coming on all right yep all the best and emma nice to speak with you all the best to you have a great oh weekend. same to you tim wow yeah tim glad, glad we had something Decker. positive like a you know what? Not you to be confused like with nice someone who actually achieved a lot in the watching. realm of philosophy uh, and can thought can and public can intellectualism. I speak? Can sorry? I speak? Yes, sorry. I'm sorry. I was just giving you an outro. Uh, but uh, but now you're ahead. just talking I, over I, praise for well, me, I mean, which is kind of par for the course. Yeah, I just so. wanted to say, Emma, you seem like a nice, smart person. I think I hope the people at CNN or MSNBC are watching because I think <laughs> there's a real opportunity for you to level up and have an opportunity there now that there's some open slots. Uh, Thanks, Tim. And all the best. And I'd love to see you, honestly, we'd love to see you out there with Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper on the New Year's Eve spectacular they do. I was a little disappointed because this year they were not allowed to drink, which I think kind of spoiled some of the fun. But I could imagine you out there with those guys laughing it up and having a good time in Times Square. 
But yeah. anyway, that's really been percolating, you, hasn't uh, it, for the past uh, literally five months? That I believe that 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 broadcast happened almost literally five months ago to the I'm, day. I'm still not over it, and so. apparently that still riled you. It gives you a good sense. Too bad there wasn't a, a Monarch report on that night too. Uh, Tim Heidecker, right. not to be confused with Heidegger, who was a brilliant philosopher in any way, someone who uh, contributed something yeah. to the public discourse. I will not make that mistake again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that was. Well, I liked him a lot. <laughs> uh, my understanding is he does. Uh, Sam has a fa- or, uh, Emma has a fantasy team of uh, minor uh, CNN stars and how much uh, airtime they get. I so mean, she's you know big on the. I have um, no doubt that there's been <laughs> exactly. bets you've placed on that uh, in the past. Well, all right, we're going to take a break as a palate cleanser. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Sorry about that, uh, but um, we will uh, we will take a quick break and oh and head into the fun half. Yeah, um, that didn't work out well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sees my talent. Someone's reminding me that Heidegger was a uh, literal Nazi. Yeah, actually oh. a Nazi. I mean, I mean, look, being in time, but, uh, good book, but uh, his politics not so good. Yeah, no, I wasn't uh, judging his politics, but he, you know, he did have an impact on thing, and uh, I didn't mean in any way to confuse uh, Tim Heidegger with uh, Tim. Now you got to apologize to Tim yeah. on uh, yeah. Office Hours Live. Well, I wasn't calling him that. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't calling. I wasn't saying that part of uh, just Heidegger. loosely associated. Well, I mean, you know, he that. likes uh, the CNN monarchists, and you apparently approve of uh, Heidegger. So, <laughs> well, um. Folks, it's your support that makes this show possible. You can become a member at jointhemajorityreport.com. When you do, you not only um, support this show, you get the free half free of commercials, and you get the fun half, and you can IM the show via our free app at majorityapp.com.